You move very fast here. Uh, give me the confidence that you did the due diligence that was necessary to make sure your SPAC is getting the best deal possible because you only priced your SPAC a couple of months ago. That's true, David. Um, but look, uh, you know, I've done a lot of deals over my time. We, we uh, prioritized about a dozen uh, different options. We signed several NDAs. We did diligence on five or six of the companies. Uh, but I will tell you, from the get-go, um, Hydrofacial was our first choice. And frankly, the day that we cleared the IPO of the SPAC and the lawyers freed us to start engaging with targets, this was my first call. And so I'm so thrilled to be here. I'm so thrilled that we got the deal done. And I'm so excited for the future with Hydrofacial. All right. So why was it your first call? Well, this is really a category creating uh, skin health company. And uh, skin is such a huge market. Um, this is a beauty uh, play, uh, and it, it sits at an intersection of, of aesthetics and beauty where I think there's just explosive growth. And the brand that Clint and the team at Hydrofacial created is, mm -hmm. is a global brand. It's the best in class brand, but it's got so much more room for growth. So this is a growth story that can be a platform for future acquisitions and really drive a tremendous amount of value for our shareholders. I want to come back to that acquisition opportunity. But, Clint, let me get to you. The company did about $165 million in uh, revenues in 2019. This has been an off year as a result of the pandemic. What kind of growth rate are you looking for as we normalize, uh, for example, in 2021? Thanks, David. Yeah, it's been a heck of a year. The, the company's really been battle-tested. And uh, we were affected uh, in, in April, like everyone else. The company's bounced back in Q3, very strong Q4. And we're actually uh, planning for some choppy waters first half of the year, uh, but expecting $180 million, uh, next year in, uh, in revenue with, uh, with a really nice profitability profile. So we see our market bouncing back very strong. Leads are up. Uh, ASPs are strong. And the consumer and our providers are really, really anxious to get back to normal. And, and we're, we're pleased with the way we've weathered the business. You know, I, I wonder, Clint, I know one of your units, I think, is around $27,000, from what I understand, a treatment itself, about 200 bucks. What about competition from people who want to have in-home, uh, who just want to do it themselves? You know, I can go online and see things called trophy skin and various things that are available, at least, that cost about the same as one treatment from your system. Why isn't that preferable or at least something that would be a serious competitive uh, threat to you? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, certainly if we'd had a home device, uh, we would have been excited uh, during this pandemic, but you'll see that coming from us in the future. Uh, we work really hard to work with our estheticians in the professional setting so that consumers understand in three steps, 30 minutes, they get the best skin of their life from a trained professional. So that's not going away. Uh, we work in conjunction with a lot of these home care devices, a lot of skin care devices at home. And so it's really not a, a, an or. It's a both or an and. And so uh, we, we don't see that being a real competitor. Uh, we just see it as opportunistic for hydrofacial as we grow the brand. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.